2025 is just around the corner and everyone has this one doubt in their mind. How is the tech market going to be in 2025? Is the market finally going to recover? Is the recession going to end? And are we going to see an increase or decrease in the tech hirings in India? What is going to happen? So let's talk about the market. The market is surely going to increase in hiring. And we have a lot of sources who are claiming that there will be up to 20% increase in hiring of the tech market. So definitely that's a good news for all of you who want to get a job, whether you want to switch to a different company or whether you're a fresh and you're looking for a job, this is pretty much a good news. But the main thing is that you need to be prepared because right now as the hirings increase, opportunity can come from anywhere. You'll see on LinkedIn every day someone is posting that XYZ company is hiring. Only today I saw hiring posts of two, three companies like Amazon and Flipkart. So definitely you need to be prepared. But then again, how do you need to be prepared? And are there any changes which will be there in the interviews in coming 2025? How is the hiring interviews going to be? So first of all, I'm going to talk about something that I have seen very recently and very prominently. And this is assignment based hiring or project based hiring. So a lot of companies right now, especially startups, what they're doing is, and I'm talking about high paying startups, not like random startups, high paying startups. So what they're doing is they're having project based hiring. So what that means is basically suppose you're appearing for a front end role. So what they will do is they'll give you a react assignment, which will be a take home assignment. You can take it home with you. It will be like sort of a project and you have to work on it. And after that, there'll be a submission, a deadline, and you can submit the project. And based on that, you will move forward in the interview. So this is something that will surely increase. And a lot of the new startups are going to like take this way of, you know, taking interviews or taking shortlisting and companies like just pay are already doing it to those of you who don't know i recently made a video about just pay interview experience and the first thing that they do is give you a project assignment so for this you need to be very good in development but then again the question comes what should i do in development should i do java should i do monstack should i do you know app dev should i do devops should i do aiml what should i do because you have so many people telling you about so many things so I'm going to give you my honest suggestion. Get into full stack web development and for front end use React. Okay, regardless of what you use for back end, use React in front end. Now in back end, you can use Java Spring Boot or you can use Node.js. My suggestion will be Java Spring Boot because I personally have seen a lot of openings in Java and pretty much every one of the big tech companies you have like Amazon, Wells Fargo, Zscaler, Zscaler, all of these companies hire in Java. So my suggestion to you will be doing backend in Java, but you can do Node.js as well, no, no issue about it. And after that, you can do a little bit of AIML if you want. But I will not suggest getting fully into AIML because it is a pretty in-depth field. And as a fresher, you won't see much jobs in AIML. So do full stack web development and make some good projects. Learn development to the point that you'll be able to clear the project based hiring or the assignment based hiring. Now speaking about development, one topic that comes up in my mind is remote jobs. And I know remote jobs pretty much became the hype and the sensation in a few like last few months. Everyone wanted to get remote jobs, but sadly that dream is coming to an end now because all of the companies, almost all of the companies are seemingly ending remote jobs and are calling people to office. So if you're someone who's just, you know, sitting in the hope of a remote job, don't do so. Remote jobs are definitely going to decrease. Everyone, every company is following the trend of calling people back to office. And as a fresher, work from office jobs will always benefit you more. So don't wait for the work from home jobs or remote jobs, but get any opportunity that you can. Okay. Don't wait for a specific job like a remote job or something like that. So if you've done development, is that enough? Is DSA not needed anymore in 2025? Can you survive without DSA? So obviously not. The majority of the highest packages I've seen people get is with DSA. Even now and even in 2025 and even in the coming few years, DSA is still going to be very important, especially if you want to get a good package like 25 LPA plus, 30 LPA plus, DSA is going to matter. So I'm not saying you need to be a master of DSA or you need to be a top level competitor programmer, but at least have the basic knowledge of DSA at least be able to solve lead code medium problems. If you are able to do that, then I guarantee you, you can pretty much crack the interview of any company. There's very few companies who ask more difficult than lead code medium. So do the development, full stack development, Java, full stack, Mernstack, whatever it is you choose, 
do a little bit of AI ML just to know that, just to show the interview that you're in the loop. And apart from that, focus on DSA. Don't ignore DSA. A lot of people will tell you DSA is useless, DSA is that, DSA is this, but no. Make sure that you do DSA and make sure that you do at least the important topics like array, strings, sliding windows, two pointers, link list, stack queue, graph trees, and dynamic programming. Make sure that you do these topics and definitely make sure that you're able to do lead code medium problems. Practice hard on lead code, make a good resume, and do development properly. And soon enough, I'm going to tell you when, what company is hiring. I have made a video, I'm going to upload it in a couple of days. And in that video, I'm going to discuss the timeline of a majority of companies. So I'm going to tell you when, what company will start hiring and how you can be prepared for it. So make sure that you subscribe and watch out for that video. So that's pretty much it. Start preparing and make sure you don't waste any time to start preparing. The opportunity will come knocking on your door soon enough. So that's all. Thank you.